Hello Cancer and welcome to your daily reading for Thursday July the 2nd. So I'm going to use some tarot familiar cards for you and we're also going to bring in the universe as your back deck to see what you want to know and I've brought Yoda in to share his divine wisdom. So thank you angels. What do we need to know for Cancer please on this day? What do we need to know for Cancer please on this day? So I'm going to split the deck and I'm taking out anything that seems to be moving. Anything that seems to be moving. What do we need to know for cancer, please, angels, on this day? Wow, okay, let's do this then. So the first card we've got coming up is the Four of Cups. So if you're feeling a bit bored today, a bit disheartened with things, don't give up. Trust in your journey. Trust in who you are and know there's better things coming in. Because things are about to move forward between now and August time. Things are moving forward, Cancer. So this is a message to not give up, to not get disheartened. If you can't see results yet, it doesn't mean they aren't coming. It means they're bubbling under the surface. A lot like how a volcano is when it's dormant and it's about to erupt. It's all bubbling under the surface. Or the way a seedling is growing under the soil. And it's just about to pop out of the soil and bloom and grow, but you can't yet see it. So you have to trust and have faith that things are moving forward. And it's a great time to get focused right now, to get focused on your dreams, your desires, because I feel you're going through a lot of reflection right now, a lot of deep thinking. You may be thinking about the past and why things have occurred or happened the way they have. Because they've taught you what you needed to know to get you where you are now. And they show me the two wolves there as two parts of yourself. The old you and the new you. And you know you're being reborn. You know you're evolving and growing. And you know you've already evolved and grown so much. So you move forward by the way you feel and the way you think and the things you do. All the things you go through in your life heal you. And they show me that there. We've also got one, this is my true nature. So this is you knowing that you are one with all things, that we are all energy. We are all one. So you are one with everyone else in the world. You are one with the sky, the earth, the ground, everything. And you're tapping in with that oneness. It's part of who you are. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So the angels say, forget what you think you need. And trust that what you do need will come to you. Because sometimes the things we want are not the things that we need. The things that we need are not what we actually deserve because we deserve more. So the angels are saying, leave the details to heaven. And it's a great affirmation to use if you're manifesting. Because something you want, you want it. But the universe may have something even better in mind for you. So give it to heaven. This or something better, please, universe. So, for example, if you're trying to manifest a car and you've got the idea of the car you want and you ask for that car and it doesn't flow to you, it's because the universe has a better car in mind, something better, something you deserve more, something more luscious and beautiful and luxurious, something that matches your vibration more. So allow the universe the option to bring you more. By saying this or something better, please. So if you're frustrated or bored today or a bit annoyed because what you want isn't manifesting, the angels are saying to you, the key to this is to know that you can you deserve it all. So forget what you think you need and remember the universe knows more because you are one with the universe. You are one with all things and you are connected and that everything right now is moving forward to bring you the life of your dreams. We've got a beautiful dragonfly here for deep, intense transformation. I always trust the direction of the universe and I know I'm being guided. And you are guided. You are guided by angels, ascended masters, loved ones in spirit and your own heart. Because when you follow your heart, you always find the right pathway. So trust what you've been shown, the direction of the universe. The universe knows all things. So if you've been delayed for some reason, if there's a delay in your life, it's happening for a reason. And I always say this, you know, if you ever get stuck in traffic, it's a really good analogy and it works in every area of your life. If you're stuck in traffic and you're annoyed and frustrated, just remember 
The universe is protecting you in that moment, saving you for some, from something potentially that may harm you or hurt you in some way, making sure that you're on time for what's right for you. So if you're delayed and you arrive at your destination five minutes later, you may pass somebody or cross paths with somebody that changes your life. You may be in alignment with your person. An opportunity may fall in your lap that five minutes before wouldn't have been there. So you have to trust in the direction of the universe. And this is why it's so important, especially as a twin flame, to trust in divine timing. Because the universe knows so much more than we do as human beings. And even though we are spiritual beings having a human experience and we're tapped in, the universe still knows more than our small mind because it sees the whole picture. And sometimes we can only see what's right in front of our face. So we have to trust in heaven, to trust the universe, to lead us where we're meant to be, to give our journey over to God and surrender and know that we are safe. And everything we go through along the way is a journey of transformation. It's healing us, growing us, evolving us and making us who we are. So trust right now that your journey is moving forward, even if you can't yet see the results of your actions, your intentions, what you're doing is manifesting because you are one with life. And the key to prayer and the key to your journey is to forget what you think you need and allow the universe to guide you where you're meant to be. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.